me out for things on uh, Twitter though. That's cool. Oh, by the way, shout out to um to Wired Guy. That that he was he was probably one of the nicest dudes that I met there. Yeah, I met him when I uh, we did an overnight to do to attend uh, Chicago Weekly like back during high or er, high school. Oh my god, my wow. last semester of college, dude. If we had P four back in high school, oh man, um, dude was extremely nice. He was definitely one of the guys that stuck out to me the most. Although I didn't, I wasn't. I feel bad because he's been following me on Twitter, and I didn't know if he was him or another guy. But now I know who he is. <laughs> I feel bad. I remembered him, but I didn't know what his tag was. Here we go. Nuts. He's going nuts. Uh, as he does, I think every net play journey he does versus me at least, going absolutely nuts, bursting first hit. I, my guess is he doesn't like fighting the Yukiko Mixel. He might have a hard time being patient against it and knowing how to get out of it. DPing that 5B, bad choice. Uh, definitely not a good idea unless you can confirm Yukiko's in on you and trying to do an actual mix-up. And at that, you probably want Micro Dash DP. Rolling through, that roll is not legitimate off Um, Yukiko. Ooh. Went for probably trying to get an extra overhead after a Raging Lion to catch people blocking high-low after it, but... Knocked back down. Unfortunately, uh, due to his uh, nuts playstyle and a bit of a net play going on, City Poo has not been able to keep him out whatsoever. Um, throwing out that C Meragi, great. Uh, unfortunately, loses, but Yukiko C Meragi, great tool. It's like a KOF slow fireball. You throw it out and it controls the screen. You run after it and you get to rush down people with it. Very, very good tool for her, but it does have weaknesses in the longer startup. And once again, Radri getting in is immediately getting by the Yoki, going for an unsafe roll mix-up, which you can either roll out of or depending on the character, DP and retaliation. There you go, knocked down into a uh, high pick. Looks like uh, City Poo is trying to go for uh, instant block throw as he was, um, ooh, gets confirmed, that's probably that. OMB, just because he can, and Radri gets a perfect. Unfortunately, this matchup just isn't going to work out unless he can get, uh... Unless he can manage to just get it at neutral or get, uh... Rattery in the corner so Yukiko can start potentially get, getting her rigged setups. Yukiko's mix-up and pressure is very similar to Liz in the sense that a lot of it is not all that real once you know the character in detail, know what she can do and what setups she can go for using her Augies and whether she releases them immediately or late. So all she really has in the long run, outside of people who are unfamiliar with the matchup, are certain setups that are like really, really rigged, usually involving uh, unblockable Augie set up at the end of a combo, especially EX Augie. Oh my god, it's very, very scary if you get put in that situation because there's, al depending on what character you're playing, there's almost no realistic way to get out without taking damage. Let's see here, good. City Poo off to a much stronger start than before. Just managing this keep, uh, ooh. And the instant that happens, net play starts kicking in, but much, much, much stronger start playing the because advantage of keeping Narakami out until she's able to safety pressure and knock down. Bursts out, I agree with that decision, just needs to keep Rattery out for now. Goes for a throw bait. Yukiko using that fantastic 5 AA of hers. It's very problematic in the sense that it's 10 frames when trying to deal with uh, being pressured. No good uh, mash out neutral, uh, mash out normals. But it's fantastic for controlling space. There's no hurt box in it whatsoever. So she can just throw it out and it will beat a lot of things. Right now, if he can get one good confirm. Mm. Oh, right outside of Awakening. Okay, if he can get if he can get one good confirm on Rattery right now into a counter hit Meragi or whatever else, yes, yes, he's and he's in he gets Meragi dying. That awakening health, the fact that Rattery did nothing, ooh, late teching to get out of the rigged setup that I mentioned, but still got hit by our uh, Meragi after. Whenever Yukiko combos into Meragi Dine, you, it's a good idea to late tech just in case they go for an unblockable EX Augie afterwards. If they're not far enough away from you, it will pick you up off the ground and you'll be able to tech out of it. They can also space it so late teching won't work, but in general, if that Augie gets set up over you and it's unblockable, it's pretty much rigged and you're going to take the damage. Once again, City Poo's setting up that Yukiko uh, pressure. Very, very good at making people, um, impatient, but it, almost all of the mix-up that she can do can be jumped out of one way or another. Um, unfortunately, gets put back into the corner. Good. 
manages to get out, sets up a uh, gets a gold burst for the meter. Now he just needs to be able to not get killed as soon as he gets touched. Or DP. Yes! Perfect. Fire Break actually adds blue health to Yukiko's health gauge, setting her into Awakening. But Ridori might have this split cross slash. There we go. Second round goes to Ridori. However, Sinipu is definitely adjusting for uh, Ridori's uh, nutty playstyle. Possibly also the connection, I would not know. Setting up that JC. JC, a very strong normal to with is Yukiko, as if you hit 5C afterwards, it will appear at mid screen and let you combo into 2C for a nice confirm of the Beyond. There we go. DPing just wants out of the pressure as much as he can. His burst coming out soon, so we might see that next time he sees a hit confirm or to just get out of pressure. There we go. Rolls out. Midori doesn't have a strong answer to it and gets knocked down in the corner. We could go being quite strong in the corner since her persona can just pressure you at the very tip. Might go for her. No, Risa. Sets up. Ooh, that would have been a good high-low, uh, hard-to-blockable setup, but unfortunately, Midori DPs out, manages to get this slide, which will be... Ooh. Tries to go for an air reset, doesn't get it. City Poo's still in this. Good, saved his burst for something like that. Ooh, I don't agree with setting up fire burst or fire boost though. He might have been trying to get. Uh, ooh, he's gonna set up uh, fire break here and, and try and uh, get him on wake up. Perfect. He's he's done. If he doesn't drop the combo, he's done. City Poo just got the round. Good stuff. The clutch uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, Yukiko is very strong in the corner because all she has to do is get one confirm into uh, C Agidine, and she can potentially set up a rigged setup with that. Uh, rigged setup with the Agi that she sets down before the Agidine. Or sorry, sorry. Um, uh, as she can do, what is it? When Yukiko does fire boost after the super, she will actually be left at something like plus two before the opponent finishes teching. And she can use the Augie that she used to combo into Augidine in order to pressure the opponent. Depending on whether she releases it early or late, you have to have a complete you have to do something completely different in order to escape uh, the Baragi she'll do afterwards, which will be unblockable and lead into a lot of damage and usually another Augidine. Starting out here, Rodori manages to get in. We'll see if you if uh, unfortunately he doesn't ooh. Unfortunately, he doesn't confirm off that JC. Manages to knock him down, set up the Augie. Wants to push him right into that corner and gets the Moragi. We might be seeing another return of the last, uh... We might be seeing a uh, match very similar to the last round that we just saw, getting Ridori in the corner and just running train on him, since he doesn't, uh... seem to have too much of an answer versus he goes on block pressure, aside from DP and late check. I definitely agree with that counter assault. Just get out of the corner and get out of Narakami pressure as fast as you can. And make do your best to make, prevent Ridori from getting into awakening conveniently here. It's gonna be problematic if he gets a DP or a super cancel at any second now. Similarly, uh City Poo's just about to get knocked into awakening here. Ooh, good, drops the combo. This is a chance to get confirmed to A-Lion burst. I would have agreed with that first if it was just a little bit earlier, but I think it would have been better spent, uh, ooh. Oh, almost got the confirm before he got into Awakening. That would have been amazing. Going into Unlock? No, goes for Sweep Agi Ogi. Ogi. Tries to go for the hard to blockable and is able to block. Ooh, blocks Raging Lion online! Tried to go for a hard to blockable setup off of Sweep rather than... Ooh, that... Wow! <laughs> he did the wrong version. He did the wrong version. I don't know if it would have been fast enough, but if Yukiko can anti-air someone jumping in on her with the Muragi, she gets a genuinely rigged setup that you might not be able to get out of. Um, unfortunately, that is a slow start of super, so anti-airing or counter-hitting someone with it is not that common. She, uh, City Poo also did the wrong version, uh, doing out to in rather than in to out. Midori pressure, DP's the ooh. <laughs> Throw whiffs. But right back in the Yukiko pressure, just sending out a Meraki, pushing it away, or getting a 5A hit confirm once it's back to neutral. Uh, right now, City looks like he wants to just try and uh, stop him from moving in on the air whatsoever so he can play more of a ground game once it's conditioned. Ooh, once more, doesn't manage to get that fan hit, otherwise he would have been able to completely destroy Ridori with the new com next combo. Ooh, manages to slide under that fan, very, very good choice there. Right now, Yukiko just demonstrating how strong that 5A is. At the very tip of it, not much any, not much very, very many characters can do, and they have to take a huge risk in DPing it in order to get out of it. Augie set up, managed to keep him in the corner with it. Ooh, what the hell? That was un... I don't know what 
made him do that, but it was a really good decision, especially because Ridori didn't know how to respond. Did unblockable Augie at neutral, and Ridori just fed himself into it. I was expecting an Augie, uh, Muragi dying to see how Ridori would answer, but instead opted for this. Ooh, DP with. Unfortunately, Yukiko can't get a very good punish unless it's uh, unless it's uh, very, very minus or just uh, 5 d hitting or being able to get a Muragi and lands a chosen ninja special. Though usually he does it more on hit confirms after an opponent gets counter hit by something annoying. Juggle into EX Agi into unblock setups, very good. Here's that rigged Agi setup that I was here's one of those rigged Agi setups I was mentioning, very hard to get out of. He wouldn't have to uh, guess roll, guess jump, guess DP. Anything he does is gonna have to be a guess, and Yukiko can accommodate for all of it. Unfortunately, he gets rolled. And Rodori, ooh, good DP, good DP. This is gonna be hard for Rodori. This is troublesome. Yep. Hopefully, he'll be able to confirm a fitness off this. Oh! I miss if he had the meter, but... Good, good. Managed to get the confirm. I miss if he had the meter, but he should have been able to combo into Biagi and uh, Miragi Dine to finish the match. 